Okay, kind of a quick way to, to add a little bit of uh, highlights if you want to, or a shadow. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, select uh, my group here. I've got a compound shape because I did a few other things, but you could do this if it's just a regular shape. And then I'm going to uh, go into the eraser tool, and there's eraser, scissors, and knife. And the knife is kind of um, neat because I've got this selected, and then let's say that I wanted the little highlight on her hair, hair and just kind of eyeball this and you can go completely off and it's just like a knife like you were cutting a pizza you would start off of the pizza and end off the pizza and the same thing is true here so then we can select come deselect and then come back on and then if I wanted to uh, make a little highlight I could um, same thing is true, like if I select uh, the face, take this uh, thing and I want just a little bit of shadow underneath her chin, then again I click off and come back on just that and I can darken up a little space and that, that goes pretty quickly. Um, now this blue is kind of ugly up here, but uh, that's a lot of times you see this on, on the side of a uh, arm or or neck or something like that. You just have to first of all isolate the uh, object and then use that knife and then you can cut it. And uh, I'm just using a mouse here, I didn't use a pad. Um, that knife just kind of seems to smooth itself out. Um, has like a simplifying uh, algorithm on it. So you could do that. Um, then the, the same thing is true for an eye. You could do something like that. Let's say change still um, white and then control shift A and let's go maybe a deep brown center that up a little bit and then a lighter brown. Zoom in a little bit. And then one more, do uh, black. And so if you wanted to have just kind of a, a different shape, um, you can take, I'm going to select the light brown. I could hide the black for the moment, but I'm not going to. Um, but I have the light brown selected, and then I can cut in here if I wanted to just make some sort of different kind of shape. And I can erase, oops, select. select the top Can't seem to do it there we go and so you can get a different um, little maybe a little highlight at the bottom of your eye and then you could go ahead and go to uh, like a white white reflection so anyway um, those are two different options so you can cut anything Okay, uh, actually I, I put in a white, um, a white part of the eye, but uh, the student that I was kind of dressing here um, didn't have one, so I, I think I don't, I don't really like that either. I thought uh, her idea was pretty, pretty good. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, they just did a you know, eyebrow here, and you could do that with a pencil. Um, with a mouse, but it's kind of a little bit uh, bumpy here. There's two different ways to do that as well that might uh, help you a little bit. If I uh, draw it like that, and then I go to Object, um, Path, and Simplify, then I can simplify this. And, um, I have Preview, 
now I can kind of smooth out my own own lines here and, it, and I may end up having to do it completely different because right here they overlap and that doesn't work very well so I might uh, try that completely again but um, that's a way to uh, handle it if your hand is not very steady Go object path simplify turn preview on and then again um, let's say I simplify it a little bit smooth out those lines um, and I can change the threshold as well or if I wanted straight lines which I don't uh, but I could and then I could hit OK but I can again always modify these paths after the fact so I could draw something like that and let's say then we want black uh, eyebrow now there's another way to do that um, is if you click twice on the pencil line or the pencil then you can change the uh, fidelity right there so if you uh, want it to be really true to your line and you it might end up being a little bit jaggy then you can uh, change the f fidelity or the smoothness to do that